A commercial crew spacecraft's historic test mission, recognizing the leadership of our James Webb Space Telescope team, and a small spacecraft prepares for a unique mission around the moon. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Approaching the International Space Station. On May 20th, Boeing's uncrewed CST-100 Starliner spacecraft arrived at the International Space Station on the Orbital Flight Test 2, or OFT-2, mission for NASA's commercial crew program. Soft capture confirmed. Boeing Starliner spacecraft completes its historic first docking to the International Space Station, opening a new avenue of access for crews to the orbiting laboratory. The next day, another first for Starliner, thanks to the efforts of NASA astronauts Chell Lindgren and Bob Hines. All right, and it looks like the hatch is open to the Starliner. Bob Hines is the first astronaut to enter Starliner in orbit. The Starliner spent several days at the station, during which time teams conducted a series of planned tests, and the station crew transferred several hundred pounds of cargo and supplies. Starliner undocked from the station on May 25th and returned to Earth later the same day, making a landing at White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico. The OFT-2 mission was designed to test the end-to-end -end capabilities of the Starliner system to safely transport astronauts to and from the space station. Gregory Robinson, the program director for NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, was named to the Time 100, the magazine's annual list of the world's 100 most influential people and leaders. Robinson began his career at NASA in 1989 and joined the Webb team in 2018. In his current role, he oversees what will be the premier space observatory for the next decade. The Webb telescope will explore every phase of 13.5 billion years of cosmic history to help us understand our place in the universe. The CIS Lunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment, or Capstone mission, is targeted for launch no earlier than June 6th. It is a collaboration between NASA and industry that will use a microwave oven-sized CubeSat to test a unique elliptical orbit around the moon, formerly known as a near-rectilinear halo orbit. The mission will help reduce risk for future spacecraft, including Gateway, a moon-orbiting outpost for NASA's Artemis program, by validating innovative navigation technologies and verifying the dynamics of this halo-shaped orbit. The NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts, or NIAC program, selected a new solar sail concept for development toward a demonstration mission. The solar sail, which uses a property of light called diffraction to make more efficient use of sunlight, could carry science to new destinations. For more information about NIAC and NASA's investments in space technology, visit nasa.gov slash spacetech. Our Ingenuity helicopter on Mars captured this black and white footage during its record-breaking 25th flight. The flight, which took place on April 18th, was also Ingenuity's longest and fastest flight to date. The rotorcraft traveled over 2,300 feet and reached a speed of 12 miles per hour. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.